Friends, today in this video, we are going to learn about electrical switches. Which type of switches are used in industry and where we have to use a particular type of switch. So friends, let's start the video. To turn on and off a light in your home, you use this type of switch. When you press this switch once, light turns on. On again pressing this switch, light turns off. Same as this switch, these all switches here work. Let's understand these one by one. Let us first take these push button switch. The switch you can see right now is known as push button. According to the color coding of these push buttons, we can understand that where to use this push button. Like if you see green push button anywhere, then it will be sure that the contactor you have to turn on this contactor, this push button will be used. Similarly, if you see a red push button anywhere, then it will be understood that the contactor you have to turn off this contactor, this push button will be used. So you can say that if you want to turn on any contactor, then in this condition you will use green push button. And if you want to turn off the same contactor, then in this condition you will use red push button. If you look closely here, the push button you have, if you look at the back side here, this part, we call this as element. You can see this type of element here. You will always find two element. One is NO element and second is NC element. Besides these two push buttons, you will find one more type of push button, this one. This push button here is of some special type. What is special in this? Listen. If you look into this push button here, then you have an option here to press the push button. When you press this, then the element connected at the back side, like here you can see element is there. With this element, one more element is there. This element is for indication lamp. Like here you can see that a symbol is present, here it is written 220 volt and below 14 milliampere is written. What this means is, to the element connected here, if you provide 220 volt power supply to this, then indication lamp in this push button, this indication lamp will start glowing. In this type of push button, you will see that if I press this push button, this contact will change. You can see that when I press this, plunger came upwards. On releasing button, it again goes downwards. It means the contact got normal again. It means you can say that till the time you press push button, for this time only contact will be changed. This push button which I am still pressing, if I release this, contact will be back to normal. It means NC contact will remain NC contact until we don't press this. Now like these push buttons, there is also a emergency stop push button. At the back side of this push button, you will find the same element as this one. But there is a difference that mechanism placed above here is little different. If we press this push button and then release it, then it will come back to its normal position. But if you look into this push button, if you press this push button, then it is not going upward. It will be locked. It means after pressing this, the contact will remain changed until we bring this to its normal position. To bring this back to normal, what you have to do, the knob placed upwards here, rotate this on this side. When you rotate this, it will come upward. Now here the push button you have, we call this emergency push button. It means when suddenly we need to stop a machine, then we use this type of push button. What happen is, if suddenly a problem occurs, then simply press this. When you press this, it will break the circuit. Now same as like this emergency push button, you will find one more type of emergency push button, like this. Here with the emergency push button, key is also there. What is the work of key here? Let's understand. As you know friends, there are many types of control panel and if we off these and don't want to switch on, then in this condition, this type of emergency push button with key you can use. What happen when you use this, if you off this and remove this key, then no matter how much you try to normal this, it will not going to be. It means the contact place at the back side of this emergency push button, this contact will remain open till the time you release this again. To release this again, what you have to do, place this key here again. After this, simply rotate the key once. When you rotate this, it get back to normal. Now this contact will again let the power supply flow from here. Now another type of switch which is used in industry is known as selector switch. It means if you rotate this switch to this side, then power supply for circuit will flow from one contact. When you rotate this to another side, then power supply will flow from another contact. 
In the selector switch, you will find three positions here. 1, 0 and 2. If you select this selector switch at one number position, then contact below this position. Among all these contact, power is supplied from one contact. From other contact, power will not be supplied. After this, at zero position of selector switch, if you select this position, then in this condition, it will be off. Zero here means off. After this, if you select the selector switch at two number position, then before from this point power is supplied on selecting one number position, now from here power is not supplied. From another position, power will be supplied. So, we use this selector switch for auto, manual or in any electrical circuit where you have to do the selection. Now friends, here you will find another type of selector switch also. Like here you can see selector switch with stick. This is same as the selector switch. Only the operating system is different here. Here is a switch which you can rotate to do the selection. But here a joystick is there which you can change here to different positions for selection and in which circuit you want to supply the power. Like all these selector switch, you will find this type of switch also. Which is used to turn on and off three phase power supply. Like here you can see on is written. When I rotate this, you can see now off is written. It means the contact place at the back side, this contact is for three phase power supply. I mean connect the three phase power supply here and for output take the supply from here. If you keep this selector switch at off position, power supply from here will not flow further. But when you select the selector switch at on position, then the power supply which is coming here will start flowing further from here. Now this switch which you can see right now is known as limit switch. We use limit switch at the places where some movement is there. Like the conveyor belt or elevators. Like you know that the elevators we use moves to first floor, second floor, ground floor, etc. It moves all the day. Did you know that these lifts we use, how these lifts come to know that it is first floor or second floor or ground floor? Elevators come to know the position of floor and to stop the elevator, we use this type of limit switch. This limit switch can be used in various places. You just have to keep one thing in mind that whenever you use limit switch, some kind of movement must be there. What happened with this movement, let's understand. Look, suppose this is your elevator. Now this elevator touches this limit switch in this way. What will happen is, this limit switch will change its contact. Inside this limit switch, there is NONC contact. When elevator comes, its contact changes. When contact changes, this electrical signal can be sent to drive or PLC or motor, whatever which you want to turn on and off or to glow an indication, you can perform this work. And when this elevator passes from here, it will come back to its normal position. If I make movement of this limit switch in this way, you can hear some knock knock sound here. This knock knock sound is coming here, it is coming from contact place inside the limit switch. I mean when contact changes, sound comes. So today in this video we learned about switches that in industries what are the various types of switches used. If I forgot any type of switch here, then please comment in the comment box so that in my next video I can explain those also. Thanks for watching this video.